This is how to install a 2122 camera. After you've ran your wire where you're going to, to put it, this is how you mount the camera. You can tell the camera's part number by looking at this model number right here, and the 2122 there in the middle tells you that this is a 2122 camera. So you open it up, remove the top packaging. The main thing that you're gonna need from this is this security driver right here. So just open up the pouch and grab out the security driver because you will need that to open up the dome of the camera. I'll put that on the side. The rest of this all, you can use the drywall screws and the anchors, but for a drop tile mount, I prefer to use toggle bolts to make sure that it's more secure and doesn't fall down. So I just put that to the side as well and get to the camera. <clears throat> When you remove the camera, you notice that it has some, some of these. You can just throw those away. <clears throat> and then you've got pigtails coming off. The only one that you're going to need is this um, Ethernet port right here because you're running power over Ethernet cable. So that is what you connect into the Ethernet cable that runs back to the NVR. And then there's your dome camera. So like I said, you're going to need to have this driver in order to take the dome off. So the first thing you want to do is loosen all of these and that pops off. Now it's got a little connector so it doesn't fall or anything. And this is your camera. Now looking at your camera there's a couple of things to note. Number one, this is the bottom of the lens. That's the light finder to determine if it needs IR or not. So you can tilt this down and when I mount this on the ceiling like this, this means that it's the right side up. If I flip it around, which I can, I've just changed this now to a 90 degree angle. Make sure that this light finder is on the bottom when you're mounting it and aiming it. And you can rotate this up and down. You can go right and left just by spinning it. So usually when I mount it, I try to put this cord on the back of it so that way when I'm aiming it, this part won't get in the way when it's hanging there because otherwise if you flip it all the way around, you can see that it's just gonna hang there in front of the camera lens, and then you won't be able to get a picture when you're aiming it. And that's the camera. When you found the place that you're going to be mounting the camera, and in drop tile, you can see I have a full tile right here. I need to determine if I wanna mount the camera in that corner, this corner, the middle, wherever it's going to be mounted, so that way I can make the hole in the right place. So the easiest way is to take the drop tile and just remove it from the ceiling and then you can bring it over to a trash can so you don't make mess in the customer's premise. Now I've got a drop tile piece removed and I'm determined that I'm going to be installing the camera right in the center of this drop tile. So what I need to do is I have to make a hole big enough in order to get the pigtails for that camera to go through it. So I can either use a drywall saw or if I have a drill in a 7 8 inch or bigger drill bit, I could just drill a hole in the middle. So for this one, I'm just going to use a drywall saw and just cut through. The hole doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it's big enough to get those pigtails through, that's all you need to worry about. And there we go. So now I've got a hole there. Now I've got my 2122 camera here. And I'm going to first put the pigtails through the hole. So I shove all of these through there. And they all fit, so that's good. And now you can see that it comes out the middle on this camera, so that means it's going to mount just flat. Now I need to remember on this tile, if I've got a square tile, it's easy because any which way you put it in, it's going to fit right. But you want to make sure that your camera is going to be aiming, like I put it away from this little cord here, you want it to be aiming in the direction that you want it to be. Now I know that that's going to be aiming in a direction of the corner of one of these, so I'm going to mount it like this. So the next thing I want to do is I want to determine where my toggle bolts go. The best thing to do is just use a little screwdriver and push through the drywall in two locations. And now I've got little holes here where my toggle bolts are going to go through. So now I line it back up. I just push my toggle bolts through the holes so that they're ready. 
and now I can flip this up on its side in order to put the back of them on. So I just lift this up like this. So you can see the screws coming out the back. And now I just put on my toggle bolts, spin them to get them in place, and I'll tighten them in a minute with the screwdriver, just like that. Now once they're snug, I can just take a screwdriver and go ahead and tighten them down until they fit nice and tight. And now that's not going to come off. Now I don't want to put the lens on yet, or the cover on the lens, because I want to aim it first. So I'm going to leave that off until I've completed the installation of aiming, and then I'll do that as my final step. But that's the back of it, and then you got just the plug right here that you're going to be using for your Ethernet cord, and that's how you mount a 2122 camera.